The Wiper, the Apex Predator, the legend Randy Orton embraced his new gimmick where he's basically going to destroy your every favorite WWE superstar. And it's fair to say that the fans embraced it as well. The only memorable thing about babyface Randy Orton is that penis that he had as a Tron and also the time when he looked at the boobies. He looked at the boobies. Yum yum. Other than that, people were waiting for his heel turn ever since he actually turned face because babyface Randy Orton is boring and heel Randy Orton is one of the most entertaining WWE superstars ever. So we wanted heel Randy Orton ever since he actually turned face. So with this new legend gimmick of Randy Orton, I love the fact that I have to censor this word because YouTube is going to demonetize the video. I absolutely love that. I decided to make a video talking about superstars, fan favorite superstars that Randy Orton should defeat to kind to continue his gimmick after he actually defeats Jeff Hardy. So without wasting your time, let's talk about the first one, which is The Rock. The only time we've seen Randy Orton versus The Rock was at WrestleMania 20 in a tag team match, Evolution versus Rock and Sock connection. So it wasn't the same Randy Orton. He wasn't that big of a thing in the WWE, and it also was just a tag team match. So it's one of the biggest Randy Orton's dream matches for me. And also, The Rock is a fan. Favorite. So The Rock comes back, he's a part-timer, Randy Orton doesn't appreciate that, he tries to destroy The Rock, Randy Orton, The Rock, WrestleMania 35, or whatever the f*** we're gonna get. <laughs> we've seen Randy Orton versus Brock Lesnar, we've seen Randy Orton versus Hulk Hogan, it's time for The Rock. Do you smell The Rock's cock? The Undertaker. Yes, it smells like crap right here because we're talking about the dead man, The Undertaker. We already seen this match and it was actually one of my favorite rivalries of all time. The Legend Killer versus The Undertaker. We had Hell in a Cell matches, we had SummerSlam, we had WrestleMania. It was an unbelievable rivalry and surprisingly very good matches and now since The Undertaker is such a legend and Randy Orton brought this gimmick back and The Undertaker is so loved by the fans, I think it's kinda time to bring back this rivalry and The Undertaker should be another person that Randy Orton should try to destroy. Truth be told, I would rather see Randy Orton vs The Undertaker right now than the rematch of Undertaker vs John. Cena. Very easy booking right here. Smackdown 1000. Bunch of legends. You have Edge, you have Batista maybe, you have The Undertaker, RKO out of nowhere from behind. Randy Orton attacks The Undertaker, maybe even do the gong and there's no light right now. Where's the goddamn light? Bam, The RKO out of nowhere to The Undertaker. You have a match for WrestleMania or SummerSlam, whatever. Kenny Omega. Speaking about fan favorites, Kenny Omega is one of the biggest stars when it comes to indies. And if there is a big if and he doesn't really seem to want to come to the WWE, but if he does, because everyone does, we need Kenny Omega versus Randy Orton rivalry. Not only it brings Kenny Omega to, straight to the main event, but it also brings Randy Orton a perfect rivalry, an indie darling that people just love. Everybody loves Kenny Omega right now and Randy Orton who doesn't like that everyone loves Kenny Omega so he's like you came to our place I'm gonna get you out of here or something like that. Of course he would cut a better promo than me. A 19 year old with a big forehead. Randy Orton also made fun of this crap so it makes all the sense in the world. AJ Styles. Yes, an absolute fan favorite. AJ Styles is the WWE Champion. People aren't complaining that much because he's that damn good. His rivalries are lacking. His face is mid-carders right now, which is not that good of a thing, although Samoa Joe versus AJ Styles is gonna be amazing. I think we also need Randy Orton versus AJ Styles rivalry. You Randy Orton versus AJ Styles rivalry. Now this is something I would really love to see. Both tremendous wrestlers. Randy Orton coming back for the WWE Championship, but not only that, he also wants to destroy fans favorite AJ Styles. Now I know that I put legends in the title, I know, but that's his gimmick I guess, I don't even know how to put it. But who cares, AJ Styles is a future legend of the WWE, so I guess that makes sense, no? Okay, I'm just gonna go fuck myself. But if WWE are going to do this rivalry, I don't want it to be just a regular I attacked you, I talked crap about you and we're facing at Battleground in a Punjabi playboy match, whatever. This needs to be creative. This really needs to be 
personal. I think we only seen Randy Orton versus AJ Styles once in the WWE on SmackDown Live, and I do believe that Randy Orton won with a catch in RKO, which was actually a pretty decent match. Although I gotta say, it was kind of weird seeing Randy Orton being this tall versus AJ Styles was like not that tall. It was weird seeing an attempt of a Styles clash. That was. Yeah, Daniel Bryan. Honestly, one of my favorite rivalries of all time is Randy Orton vs. Daniel Bryan. It was very, very personal. A fan favorite Daniel Bryan, a people's guy, and Randy Orton, a corporate guy, the guy that the company wants, the guy that company loves and thinks that he's the beautiful, good-looking, tall guy who should get everything, right? So people kind of related to this rivalry because they were Daniel Bryan. They were living in Daniel Bryan. And right Right now, more than ever, this rival would make even more sense. And also, when you think about it, if he's going to continue with this gimmick, we only have like three superstars who are really, really fan favorites in uh, Jeff Hardy, Daniel Bryan, and AJ Styles. So Daniel Bryan has to be one of these guys and I absolutely would love to see the matches between these two because they were amazing and, and during that time maybe I didn't appreciate it as much as I should. But can you really blame me? The Authority storyline started off as entertaining and it became shit very very quickly. Nothing like the big show and a boring version of Kane every week on Monday Night Raw. John Cena. Hold on, I know that you're gonna say what? This is the worst idea ever. John Cena versus Randy Orton again after they done it again and again and again and again and again. And I say yes, I would love to see that. Now, I'm one of these people who didn't really like Randy Orton versus John Cena in 2013 or 14, whatever the year it was, because Randy Orton felt unmotivated. The rivalry didn't happen that long ago, so people really didn't care. And we also had superstars that we would rather have in that spot but right now we don't even need the championship we just have two future hall of famers randy orton john cena the rock and stone cold steve austin of the attitude era randy savage and hulk hogan of the golden era however ruthless aggression era had randy orton versus john cena so that rivalry for me at least would look more iconic than ever before in this rivalry randy orton could just spit the truth Randy Orton could just point to the fact that he could be in John Cena's place right now with different circumstances. And this rivalry is so iconic right now to the point where even a John Cena vs Randy Orton promo on Smackdown Live just telling the truth, just comparing the one another and talking about their past rivalries would be entertaining to me. Absolutely. Randy Orton is a 13-time WWE Champion, while John Cena is a 16-time WWE Champion. Both accomplished pretty much everything there is to accomplish in the WWE. It's not 2006 when both were new, and it's not 2013 when people got bored of them. With right booking, it could be one of the best rivalries of 2018. Also, throw John Cena's dad in the mix and slap this motherfucker five times again or something, I don't know, just... I guess it's one of these rivalries that didn't work in the past as well as it would work right now. So let me know in the comments below. Am I the only one who would love to see John Cena vs. Randy Orton rivalry one more time? Especially since John Cena's matches are way more special right now and Randy Orton is entertaining again. And maybe he even would have a reason to face John Cena. Championship is not involved so... No one loses, right? So let me know in the comments below which of these six superstars should face Randy Orton. And let me know in the comments below superstars that I missed. I didn't really talk about Raw superstars since I don't think he will jump to Monday Night Raw. But I talked about superstars that could return for this specific rivalry and superstars of SmackDown Live. So let me know in the comments below your thoughts. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to support the channel, Twitter, Instagram, the links are in the description below. Thank you so much for following me. Please do, by the way. Uh, follow me, uh, tell me something, I don't know, funny or say hi and I will follow you back. So thanks for watching this video and if I would have to choose raw superstars that should face Randy Orton, Finn Balor, Seth Rollins, and that's about it. But the great one, where is Roman Reigns? Yeah, but nobody likes him.